The radiography program is a two-year program, actually five semesters. Students will spend time mostly in the classroom. They'll also spend time in the clinical setting. We have 20 different clinical locations. They'll experience uh, radiography patients in the clinical areas, in surgery, the emergency room, routine chest x-rays, routine procedures, just a little bit of everything. The classroom is, is just a small component of the whole experience. Students are here on the South Campus. Um, all our classrooms are set up. We have a laboratory set up. This is our laboratory set up right beside the classroom, so they'll spend most of the time either in the laboratory here with all this wonderful equipment or in our classroom, which is adjacent. Well, the laboratory setting, the students have to do what we call phantoms. They actually simulate real patient exposure. Uh, we have a full body phantom here, uh, which is a young lady who we call her Trauma Annie. She has experienced uh, gunshot wounds, broken bones, you name it, and the uh, parts are broken. We have regular phantoms, such as the chest here, that you can see the ribs, the lungs, the heart, just as you would in a real patient. Our equipment, we have three ways of imaging now in the United States. The old style, which is what I grew up with, is film where you actually hang a piece of film up on a view box and the doctors will read from there. We have um, what's called computed radiography, which still looks like the cassette that most people are familiar with, but it's placed inside of a computer. The computer will analyze the image. And then they have the latest form, which is digital radiography, which has, it can be a plate that can be carried around, but most of the time it's like the chest unit back here behind me, that unit there you put the patient up against it, the image is created inside of it and placed right directly into a computer. Um, those images can be sent around the world to be read, um, be sent down the block, be read in the same office. We actually have a PAC system, is what it's called here in the laboratory, where we can take the images here, record them on our main station, and then send them to a faraway site, which is about 20 feet away, um, so the students can see how that is done. The instructors are great. They're really fun. They're, um, they make learning fun. They have different activities. Uh, of course, coming into the lab, it's, it's always fun. I mean, they, they, they've been there and they've been doing this long enough where they know the best things. They know how to teach us the correct ways of doing everything. The students, when they graduate after going through all the clinical areas, they'll take a national registry. It's the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. And once they pass that exam, they're able to work in any state in the nation. Um, our program, in order to take that exam, your program has to be accredited by the Joint Review Committee on Education and Radiologic Technology. And we are accredited. The students, when they graduate, they, they've experienced every type of radiography there is. They can work in any large major hospital, any trauma hospital. Uh, some choose to go that route. A lot of them like to work for private doctor's offices that has radiography equipment. We have the minor emergency centers that you find everywhere, and the little medi centers, they call them. Uh, all those take radiography exams and do different, different images. Um, it's just up to the uh, student's preference. Some really like the doctor's office because doctors tend to take a lot of time off and they get to rest while their doctors are on time off and it's not as rushed, not as much trauma. The patients come in and then they, they leave. In the hospital, you're not sure how your patient's going to arrive. It, whether it's an ambulance, a lot of students like the trauma aspect of it, the, the emergency part of it, the bleeding, the gunshot wounds, the heart attacks, the exit danger, they feel a lot more satisfaction from doing that type of work. Um, they can also expand. They can go into CT, uh, computed tomography, um, MRI, vascular, cardiovascular. There's a whole range of places they go. They might even want to go into teaching from here.